Hey guys, this is RD Techie, and in today's video, we're going to talk about five reasons why Modern Warfare is a better game than Black Ops Cold War. I'll see you guys on the other side of the intro. So Black Ops Cold War has been out for about, um, I want to say a month right right about two months actually nearly and uh, I've, I've had a lot of fun with it i've had a lot of fun with it uh in multiplayer in zombies uh, even after the integration in warzone even um but it made me miss certain things that modern warfare had and i thought you know what there's certain things that does make modern warfare a better game and uh one Thing to start off with which is very very simple is in every map in multiplayer is the absence of doors i mean why i i, I just thought yes i get the idea of the game wanting to go in more of a direction of a running and gunning rather than camping it's all great but doors man it's just so easy to have them there they're there in fire team in a dirty bomb they're there in Warzone. They're there in Modern Warfare Multi. Why would you go to the extent to remove doors? Now, I don't know if this is like a Treyarch thing, that it's like a trademark. They never use it. Because uh, this is my first Treyarch game. Modern Warfare was the first multiplayer game I played, actually, with COD. I played campaigns back in the day, but my connection never allowed me to play uh, multiplayer to, last, uh, to the last game, which was Modern Warfare. So, yeah, doors. Why? Uh, I don't know if this is something that other people have strong opinions of. I mean, they're just doors. Why would you want to get rid of doors? But that's one thing that makes uh, Modern Warfare, in my opinion, just a little bit better. Now, when it goes to a little bit more serious aspects, is shotguns. I mean, damn. Shotguns being secondaries in Cold War is annoying. It is great fun when you use it and you don't need to use um, the perk, of, I want to say it's called Lawbreaker where you equip two primaries, but shotguns are way too OP to be a secondary and it's just nasty. With the range it has and all that, it should not be a secondary, it should be a primary and modern warfare did that right warzone still does that right now i don't know how long that's gonna last because season two we're being rumored to have more integration with warzone and the change in the map i don't know if they'll change things like the perks and all that but yeah they should not have put uh shotgun as a secondary i prefer it in the primary it is a primary weapon for those who depend on it whether you like it or not, that's a whole other thing. Whether you think it's OP or not, again, a whole other battle. The fact is, it's strong enough to not be a primary, uh, secondary. It should be its own thing. It should be a primary. And Modern Warfare did that better. So that's the reason number two. Now, this is something that, um, honestly, maybe because I came in late game or late if. Uh, lifetime to modern warfare and not to uh, not at launch but matchmaking times i don't know why but it seems like unless you pick nuketown 24 7 which might be the case uh because just because during nuketown but it feels like you're not gonna get matches that often especially with hardcore i prefer to play hardcore and it takes a while to get matchmaking it may be just in asia now i don't know if this is the case with you guys in the states and europe and all that but i connect to asian servers doi but um yeah it is not it takes a while to connect and uh modern warfare i felt like it was a lot quicker to get games no matter what the theme uh playlist was whether it was shipment or shoot house or shipment shoot house or shoot the ship or whatever they call it i wanted to play other maps i still got matches in other maps it's um Possibly because I'm early in the lifetime of the game this time around, so I'm noticing that. Whereas when I bought Modern Warfare, I'm sure it had a sizable uh, following already. But uh, the numbers don't lie. Cold War sold quite a lot. Moving on, the next one is the ability 
to save custom loadouts or custom blueprints rather because this is something that any player that goes from modern warfare to black ops or even a warzone player that uses a black op gun is going to run into and it's extremely frustrating modern warfare had this really neat feature you like the parts you click save blueprint it saves it as a new blueprint now never you need to make a new loadout you just load that blueprint in, change out one or two things, and done and dusted. It's more frustrating for someone who plays with the same gun in different styles for like long range, mid range, or for a run and gun, no stock approach to run through the whole thing all over again. And it's very frustrating and it's annoying that it was a nice feature in Modern Warfare and Warzone and they removed it for no apparent reason. When it came to Black Ops Cold War. Now this is not something. I don't know if somebody just forgot to add it. But if it did that's extremely sad. But I don't know the reason they removed it as well. If they didn't forget. So your guess is as good as mine when it comes to this one. And it's just extremely uh, annoying to lose that functionality. And that makes Modern Warfare so much better in my opinion. When, especially when you're dealing with a lot of loadouts. And you cycle through guns and you know what you like and you just don't want to have to click through all that every time. Right, the next one I have is something that's still doable on Warzone, but not on Black Ops. Uh, we did a video about this a while, uh, a week, two weeks back. It's the ability to buy past bundles. Now in Modern Warfare and Warzone, you can go into a weapon blueprint in the weapon blueprint store and buy a bundle that's not in the store itself. So even if the pack, the whole bundle is not in the store, you can go through the weapon blueprint section and buy the weapon blueprint, which will unlock the whole bundle. Now this is, okay, I get it. It's a little bit of a cheesy way to get something that's been already released. But again, I really don't see why you would remove this feature. Um, you can't do that in Cold War. If you go to the store, it's only uh, blueprints, weapon blueprints that are actually on sale right now that'll show up. Uh, we showed the example of uh, the Tagger bundle, which is a park skin. <laughs> Sorry about my dog. Um, doing that. So, again, this is one of the features that just makes life easier for any player. Uh, for example, if someone wanted to buy that bundle, it wasn't on store. You can't buy it on Cold War. But... If you buy it in Warzone this way, you can still access it in Cold War. So I don't really see this as something that really helps Cold War in any way. It just damages. And again, it's one of the better points of Modern Warfare. And those were five things Modern Warfare did better than Cold War. Now, if you think you have your own list, please do post in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you and love to hear your reasons. And uh, that's going to be it for this video. I can't wait to get back to you guys again in the next one. Thank you so much for all the support on YouTube. Please do hit that sub button if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is already Techie asking you to stay home and stay safe and stay healthy. I'll catch you in the next one.